In sports news tonight, Tasker FC coach Robert Matano has expressed his satisfaction with the Brewers' win against the Kakamega Homeboys in the Football Kenya Federation Premier League. The tactician, who was also he's also pleased with the youngster Henry Major, who netted the winning goal. You know, I have not seen Homeboy after one year, so after seeing the first half, then I came with the different strategy. Then we changed the system of play, also the players understood what you wanted, I wanted them to do. Then we changed the game. Yeah, we are speaking so well and we should continue and I hope that we continue doing more of that in future matches. Uh, special this the Saturday match against Sharks. Uh, it's a tough match but we are up to it. We are ready and we will play the way we play today. If we play and we are composed, definitely we will achieve our goal. Uh, he's a good player. We are giving chance slowly by slowly. We are filtering in. We are trying to integrate him to the, the team 90 minutes. It's good for starting. And he's a future player. He's ready to play and he's willing to learn. Uh, I'm confident that he's going to do more. I'm going to play so far. So, I'm going to play more than I'm going to play. I'm going to play more than I'm Six basketball players will be beneficiaries of college scholarships in the United States, allowing them to further their careers in basketball. This comes after a selection process conducted in Nairobi by U.S.-based coach Robert Lihalaka, mostly targeting young talent development. William Joseph Player and Olivia Karikezi as well were part of those that were looked at. I come from coast and uh, the tryouts were well. There was uh, lots of competition, but... We tried hard and uh, we got the opportunity. I feel privileged, I feel happy, and it's work done and it's work going to be done so far. I'm going to be very happy. I'm going to train hard and I'm going to get a part. I'm going to be very happy. I'm going to thank the coaches. I didn't expect that, that big of a turnout, but the turnout was good. It, I think it was up, up to upwards of 60 people. But uh, essentially what we did was we just kind of funneled the talent down to you know, 15, and then we went down to 10, and then we just kind of picked the top six. Uh, so the, the main thing was we were I, I was looking for the most marketable uh, kids, and age and, and height are obviously the first things that are most marketable when, when you're dealing with a, a young talent. It is more marketable to, for 14-year-old and 15-year-old. And therefore, even on a discussion with the coaches, we have agreed that we'll also put some effort on the lower group because we have really focused on uh, about 18, 17, 18 year olds. So we have also gotten a new challenge today, and that is a program that we will initiate. National football team captain Victor Wanyama has partnered with UN Habitat to provide aid to residents of Madare and Kibera area in Nairobi. Through the partnership, the Victor Wanyama Foundation agreed to continue supporting local communities. ...to sanitation and others. So we drove some lessons from the collaboration we have with Victor during the COVID-19 and really thank to Victor for really quickly reacting on this, uh, you know, prevention and response to the COVID-19 where UN Habitat and the foundation has teamed up to support, you know, uh, youth and communities in formal settlement to have access to water, sanitation, to hand washing and even to have access to jobs. Because if you look at more than 500 people have benefited from this collaboration. After this, we sat down and said, why we shouldn't scale up this collaboration and do more? Because we have more that needed, expected from us at the community level. That's the reason why we are here today to seal this memorandum of understanding, which is a new starting point for us to bring together you know, our competitive advantage as UN Habitat, as a foundation, to see how best we can support communities you know, in Kenya and overall, as you mentioned, globally speaking, as is possible to move further than Kenya. I think there is no limit, you know. Uh, uh, the other thing I'd, uh, I'd like to, to urge other people as well, you know, not to just wait, you know, to join forces as well, other corporates to join forces and uh, try and help the, the UN Habitat and also the Victor Nyama Foundation to, uh, to try and improve the, uh, uh, the lives of uh, our people in, in Africa and also in our, yeah, in our country here, in our communities here, uh, to try and better their lives. And um, uh, it's, it's not an easy thing, but you know, when we do it uh, slowly and step by step, uh, we can see changes. Manchester United could welcome back four players